Father, we just thank you for this morning. I thank you, Lord, for those that are still on their way. Uh, some are going to be arriving about 10 o'clock. We just ask that as they come in, God, that your love would wash over them. You'd refresh them, renew them. And Father, that your love would welcome them home to your home, to your house, to your place, your secret place, the place where we meet with you face to face in intimacy. And that all are welcome, even the prodigals are welcome, God. But you run, you run with open arms. You embrace us, God. You embrace us. Even before, even before we came to you or returned to you, God, you were there looking for us, longing for us. <clears throat> so we thank you for your love for us, Lord. Let your love wash over us. Yes. Let your shalom wash over us. Renew us in your love today. Wash away doubts and fears, condemnation and shame. We thank you for the blood of the Lamb washing us, cleansing us, renewing us, refreshing us. But your covenant is based on your character, God. It's based on your faithfulness. It's based on your eternal life. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Psalm 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For it's he who delivers you from the snare of the trapper and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you may seek refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a bulwark. You will not be afraid of the terror by night or of the arrow that flies by day, of the pestilence that stalks in darkness or the destruction that lays waste at noon. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not approach you. You will only look on with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. For you have made the Lord my refuge, even the most high, your dwelling place. No evil will befall you, nor will any plague come near your tent. For he will give his angels charge over you and guard you in all your ways. And they will bear you up with their hands, that you do not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you will trample down. Because he has loved me, therefore I will deliver him. Yes. I will set him securely on high because he's known my name. Yes. He will call upon me and I will answer him. Yes. I will be with him in trouble and I will rescue him and honor him. With a long yes. life, I will satisfy him and let him see my salvation. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. 
for overshadowing me. Completely overshadowing me. Even this morning, the Lord said in the scripture where the Holy Spirit began to overshadow Mary. Carrying the promise. Carrying the Messiah. The promise of salvation to all mankind. And think about what it is that you carry. That what you've conceived by the Holy Spirit. That what is growing on the inside of you. Say, so overshadow me this morning, Lord. Let your love consume me. Let your love consume me. Your truth consume me. The peace that you are consume me. The truth that you are consume me. The joy that you are consume me.
this, Lord. We release this into the atmosphere right now. We release this right now. We thank you, Lord, that there is a wooing and a summoning to return to the secret place that you are. The perfect love that you are that casts out all fear. And we decree it right now. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. The body of Christ.
sing. This is where the Lord is speaking out right now. Yeah. 
Kelly began to sing earlier about the new nakedness and Jesus um, taking the clothes off of his bride. I saw her standing right in front of, of the Lord face to face, and she had no shame, but she was covered in red uh, wounds all over her body, scars from the battles. And Jesus began to take his finger and touch each one of those wounds mm -hmm. all over her body, and they began to disappear <laughs> one by one. Thank you, Jesus. As she sang in that vein about a new nakedness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. For healing us. Yes. Cleansing us, no spot or wrinkle upon Thank you, us Jesus. with yes. your blood touching us. Oh. Thank you, Lord. For you, man, I know. I, I was praying for you as you were singing here. It felt like there was a hesitancy or just a fear that it felt awkward. But I just want to tell you, God is pouring out the anointing like on Isaiah. He walked three years naked and unashamed. Decree the words of the Lord. Think of three years he walked naked, stripped. People likely thought he'd lost his mind until he saw the words of the Lord coming to pass. We've clothed ourselves in the works of our hands. We've clothed ourselves with personality and position. We've clothed ourselves with the armors we choose for the battle. This is so interesting how God's talking about this nakedness. Because for some of you it's been a thing, for some of you it's not. But I want to tie something together. See, God's calling not just believers to a nakedness. He's even calling our enemies to a nakedness. Oh. Last Sunday when we were praying and we're in that time for Israel, somebody in this room came to me later and shared with me a vision that they had. And it was God. I know it was. I'm going to share it now. But while we were praying and we were, we were asking God to touch our enemies, to bring them in to him, to bring them to the Lord, to have them turn from fighting against Israel to <coughs> surrendering, fighting for Israel. While we were praying and chanting and singing, he saw a whole group of Palestinians who stripped their clothes and ranked naked towards the IDF, towards the Israeli army. Mm -hmm. With their hands raised. And in so many words that were shouting, 
We surrender. We want to serve the God of Israel. Jesus. We'll do anything. Jesus. We'll clean toilets. We'll do anything. Just let us serve the God of Israel. You know, in the natural, we can understand that they stripped for the purpose of removing fear, of carrying bombs, or carrying hidden weapons, guns. But it's more than that. When, when we surrender to God, there's not anything we can carry. There's nothing we can come with. We can't come with past successes. We can't come with our riches. We can't come with anything. We have to surrender. Naked. Naked. I really want you to hear what I'm saying right now. You guys, listen. Angelica. Excuse me. I need you to hear this. This is a word of the Lord. We have to come naked. We don't come with anything to God. Not enemy or believer. And the reason this is so important with this coming naked with our wounds, so many times we want to we want to hide imperfections. We want to hide wounded areas. We want to appear stronger than we are. I was seeing the same thing that Leanne was saying, seeing, except I didn't see Kelly, I saw just the bride of Christ, somebody that was representing the bride of Christ. You see, it's the same thing. God is saying to us, come, stripped. Allow him to heal the wounds of the past. He's not bothered by our wounds. He's not bothered. By our scars. He's not bothered with that. And it's his love that heals us. It's his love that removes it. Father, I thank you for this time of deep worship. I ask you to help us as a body to be able to hear what you're saying. We just, we not only hear it, we don't go, I know that. We apply it. We come deeper into your love. We come deeper. And allow your love to heal us. To remove everything that hinders talking about the wounds. I'm talking about the insecurities. Yes. Yes, Jesus. We come as we are. Yes. Naked. We come as we are naked. And in your love you remove the weights. Yes, Jesus. You remove the voices of harassment and affliction that try to tell us we're a loser. We'll never measure up or all those hateful things, God, you remove that. Your love begins to wash over us and remove it. Yes, yes, Lord. That's why we embrace you. Yes. Unafraid. Yes. We might have to come trembling, but we, we come. Yes. And you remove the fear. You remove the shame. 